Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. We're going to be looking at the topic of uh, masturbation and um, we're going to be listening to this young guy. And uh, so if you're a young person, uh, 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 whatever age, <laughs> consenting age, you need to ask your parents before you listen to the video. Okay? So this is Mr. Repsian on masturbation. The positive tend to outweigh, uh, excuse me, the negative tend to outweigh the positive in religion. Um, that's just how it is. But there are positive aspects of religion, but today's video is not going to be focusing on the positive. It's going to be focused on the negative. And I could make a video talking about this for hours. I could probably make an hour and a half video um, talking about this topic, and I actually my longest video is just, my longest video I've made on my channel is two and a half hours. So that yeah, I, I don't want to make a video that long. I don't think most people could watch a video that long. But um, nonetheless, here are some of the problems I have religion, with religion, and I could go on, but I'm just gonna my my three my biggest problem with religion is the guilt factor. And what I mean by the guilt factor is that religion, if you're religious, whether you're a Christian, especially if you're a Christian, um, you're constantly told that if you do certain things, it's wrong, it's sin, it's evil, it's against God, and they try to make you, it, religion tries to make you feel bad about things which are not wrong, or that are not bad. Example, um, masturbation. Masturbation in the Bible, um, ironically enough, is in the context masturbation should only occur in a marriage relationship. So when you marry a uh, woman or a woman marries a guy, then masturbation within that la relationship is perfectly fine. However, if you do, if you commit masturbation outside of your um, of your marriage, or you commit masturbation, um, let's just say you're looking at pornography and you're jacking off to a, porn pornog a pornographic image, that in of itself would be classified as lust. Now, um, I'm actually completely against lust. I believe there's a difference between lust and um, lust, love, and infatuation. Uh, lust has to do with infatuation. I don't consider that real love at all. Um, I'm against lust, and it has no religious meaning. I'm just against that whole concept of lusting. Um, it's 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 not real love. It's not real care. It's not genuine. But that's besides the point. In the Bible, lust is taught as sin. Lust is taught as bad. And let's say you're looking at pornography, you jack off, get an orgasm from that. You are therefore in sin. You are therefore wrong for having, pleasuring yourself or having sexual gratification before marriage. Um, and I can say that I've certainly dealt with a lot of the guilt that religion instills on people because it makes you feel bad for things that are perfectly natural. Masturbation is a perfectly natural act. Sex is a perfectly natural act. So uh, that's Mr. Repsian. Um, hope you're okay. It's good to see you. So what do I make of that? Uh, first thing I want to say Mr. Repsy and you're young and you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about when it comes to Christianity. I know you know a little bit, but how these young people can go on YouTube and start teaching people about things, uh, about sex or whatever, is just ridiculous. Um, and these people who set themselves up to teach people or to share their ideas who are going to have an influence on young people, uh, you know, you need to make sure you, you study and you and and you look at these in depth and and you Mr. Repsian have not uh it's just purely uh sensationalism that you're talking about really um the second thing is i know that many people struggle with masturbation that it's a real real problem many people are lonely and hurting and finding it hard and difficult and in that pain i'm not here to judge anybody or condemn anybody okay um, it's just the, the Bible talks about sex uh, and you know this teaching that when it talks about sex it can include masturbation so in Matthew chapter 5 verse 27 30 it says you have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery but I say to you that 
Everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members that your whole body goes into hell. Romans 1, 26, 27 For this reason God gave them up to dishonorable passions, for the women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, and that men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another, men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty of their error. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 20 All things are lawful for me, but all, not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything. Food is meant for the stomach, and stomach for food. And God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord, and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For it is written, the two will become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord can, becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin as person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you and you have from God uh, uh, whom you have from God uh, you are not your own for you are bought with a price so glorify God in your body then he says but I say walk in Galatians 5 16 11 I'll just see how much time we've got left he says but I say walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalry, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the things like these. I warn you, as I warn you before, that those who do such things will inherit the kingdom of God so basically you know the Bible's teaching whatever you think has got to be right it's got to be pure thought so that would uh, negate masturbation you need to be thinking uh, pure thoughts and in masturbation you you will be thinking of lustful thoughts uh, okay uh, so you need to keep your mind pure your body is not yours it's God's when you believe in Christ and the Spirit of God comes in you and the Spirit brings love joy and peace and that's different from lusting or desiring uh, sexual gratification the Spirit wants comes to give you love which is more of, of giving rather than wanting for yourself and so those are just some basic thoughts um, if you've got a problem with masturbation the reason why you got a problem is because you're not besotted with God if you listen to hymns and scripture reading daily and focus your mind on God and keep your mind focused on him you'll find that the pain the terrible pain that you feel uh, in masturbation the terrible agony that you struggle with even as a Christian say and you struggle with the guilt and the pain and the tremendous loneliness that you feel in your life and it goes deep it goes really really deep no one will know the pain that you feel in that loneliness and the struggle with your masturbation if you feel that it will go the moment you start to concentrate and fill your life up with God and concentrate on Christ and look to Christ and meditate on Christ and spend time in his word and spend time in um, listening to worship songs and getting involved in church etc you'll find the power of desire will go and you'll feel whole and refreshed and renewed
all right and the pain and the loneliness will go and the fullness will come into your life all right but if you if you masturbate or you get involved in any sex outside marriage all it will do is make you frustrated uh, and it, you will not be blessed by it you won't be blessed it will only bring you down if you look at pornography it will only bring you down if you if you get involved in a relationship outside marriage it will only bring you down you know there's a there's a promise in uh, Psalm Psalm 1 it says blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the path of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditates day and night he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he does shall prosper the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which the wind drives away therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the Lord knows the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly shall perish you know the porn industry is an industry that's that's death and if you get involved in it watching it or whatever it'll bring you down okay it'll destroy your life it'll destroy your marriage it'll destroy your relationships it'll destroy you as a person you need to be meditating on the law of God day and night on the Word of God and you'll be like a tree that's in a desert and the tree goes deep roots into the water and it flourishes and and the sex industry is a desert you, you need to get away and get your roots deep into the Word of God and get the refreshing newness of Christ and, and the refreshing river of his joy and his love in your life and those who have not got partners and you're struggling and you long to be married stop thinking about that and focus your eyes upon Christ and you'll get comfort and encouragement in that take your longings to Christ and desire him and you will find a renewal and a strength take your pain your sexual pain that you have the deep sexual pain and frustration that you feel take it to Christ and meditate upon Christ and fall in love with him fall in renewal with him and you'll be strengthened and refreshed you said Jay I'm in pain man I'm in pain I'm struggling with this man you don't know how much I struggle with this listen I promise you focus on Christ keep your mind on Christ focus on him not on your desires not on your wishes but focus on him and you will be blessed you will be renewed and you will be strengthened and you will have joy in your life I promise you you will but don't go in for sexual practices that will bring you down and the lie of the devil is to say that masturbation is okay masturbation is something that many people struggle with and I'm not here to condemn anybody many people and Christians struggle with this so I'm not here to judge because my God is a God of all comfort and he will comfort you in your pain and he will comfort you in your struggle I'm not here to condemn I'm here to walk with you in your pain and to be a help to you okay but a, a life walking in the ways of God is the right thing and it's refreshing and renewal just just let's look at this look at this the, the Bible teaches that you to love your wife as Christ loved the church how did Christ love the church he gave his life you look at the life of the porn industry what's the porn industry it's about abusing people it's about abusing people whereas Christ is about loving people so which is the best place to be in is the best place to be in is in the life of Christ is to walk in the ways of him and follow him I'll put some resources underneath the video and I hope it's a blessing if anybody needs to talk about the issue and you're struggling in pain Phone me on Skype at jason.burns107 and I, I can help you if you want, okay? Uh, from a Christian uh, chaplaincy kind of thing, I can help you. I am qualified in that, so, you know, I'm not some weirdo, okay? Uh, if you need to talk about spiritual matters and these issues, okay? Uh, no capital letters, jason.burns107 if you need to talk on Skype. God bless.